What's happening, Fragheads, Scent Chasers, Oda Collectors? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Eddie, and this is Fragnificence, where we talk about fragrance, and we talk about making wise fragrance purchasing decisions. So we're going to talk about, yep, today is the day. I'm going to share with you guys what my favorite fragrance is in my entire collection, and whether or not I think you might want to consider picking it up. So we're going to talk about it, plus a few other things about myself on the other side of the intro. So don't go away. guys and gals I hope you all had a great weekend it's Monday at the time of this recording and I know it's been a little bit since I have put up a video but that's because I've been busy with some DIY putting a floor in so I've been doing that and I don't know how you content creators put up a video every day I just can't do that I'm just not as quick and organized with the editing I don't even have a template made yet so I can just kind of punch stuff in but I'll get there but as for now I'm just gonna take my time so I can do things right. I also want to give a little bit of a disclaimer. This video is going to be a little bit more than just fragrance content. So I'm going to talk about some other things first, but if you want to get straight to the fragrance content, I'm going to put a little timestamp right here and you can just go ahead and jump ahead. But if you want to know some more things about me, um, I invite you to stick with me here and I'm going to share those things. So this channel is pretty young at the time of this recording. Uh, I haven't been a reviewer for very long. Uh, but I've been a subscriber for years and years, like most of us, right? And we uh, follow different content creators, uh, mostly because we're curious about a certain thing and we want to know more about it. It's mostly educational, but eventually we, we'll start getting into what this person is talking about and we'll get drawn in, not just because of what they're talking about and their level of expertise, but it's just their personality too. You know, it's something you look forward to seeing when a new video comes out. And one thing that really gets me locked in is when a reviewer that I follow, whether it's frag fragrance or another genre, they'll veer off the beaten path and they'll talk about something else that really gets them excited and I'm just locked. I find that interesting, you know, because it's one more little facet that just kind of paints this picture of this person. For me, uh, I have lots of things that I'm interested in. I could have started a couple of different channels if I wanted to, uh, but for different reasons, you know, I just decided to do it on fragrance because I just want to present this honest, you know, perspective from someone who's kind of new at this and what it's like for me, what I really think of a fragrance. I'm always going to be honest with you guys about what I think of a fragrance, whether it's good, bad, whether I think you should get it, whether it's worth the money and all those sort of things that we always talk about. Still new, even though I got like 300 bottles, I'm just kind of weird like that. And I'm okay with it. But I'm also a musician, and we're kind of a strange brew anyway. I just thought that I would share a little bit more about myself. And then, on the other side of that, I will reveal what my favorite fragrance is and why, and why I think you might want to check it out. I have a wide variety of things I'm interested in, things I'm passionate about. I mean, I love film, I love television, and I certainly have my favorite set of movies, favorite actor, favorite television shows, but my first love is music. And I am pretty particular about what kind of music I gravitate towards. It's a curse of being a musician. I mean, I have a favorite band, favorite singers. I have favorite guitar players who have been influential in my playing over the years, favorite drummers, and they've just shaped me. I mean, I've been a guitar player for 40 years plus, a drummer for even longer. I've been playing music for most of my life. And over the years, I've collected some pretty nice instruments to add to my collection. But my favorite is my 2014 Ernie Ball Music Man JP6. My second love is being on trail, whether it's a backpacking trip on the weekend or a long distance through hike on the AT, whether it's in Virginia, Tennessee, Pennsylvania, or right here in my own backyard in Ohio on the Buckeye Trail. I'll go out for days, weeks at a time, rain or shine, solo or with a friend, it doesn't matter. And I have plenty of time to spend on the trail during the summer because I'm a bus driver by trade. And I have my favorite pieces of gear that I like to take into the backcountry, whether it's my favorite pack, the Osprey Atmos 65, or my favorite ultralight tent, which is the Z-Pax Triplex. And finally, I love fragrance. It's something that I discovered three years ago and I started collecting. I started at the bottom like everyone else, those cheapies that we all know and love. And then I eventually discovered the lower end designers, 
and then the higher end designers like Chanel and Dior and then eventually I got my first niche fragrance and then I started getting into niche houses and then I started collecting I mean after 340 bottles in three years I still have this cheapy favorite and it's called Poker Face by Ted Lapidus and I want to talk about it today that's right, Ted Lapidus Poker Face, and here's my bottle. As you can see, the letters are coming off. Not the best presentation in the world, but it is what it is. I do have some problems with this bottle. That's why it's empty, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. The rest of the juice is in here. This is the first bottle I bought. I do have two backup bottles, and we're going to open one today because you guys are worth it. But for those of you who don't know, this is the reason I want to talk about this fragrance because there are rumblings of a clone that might interest a lot of people. This is a heavily inspired by fragrance for $30 of this, which is La Nuit de Lhomme. La Nuit de Lhomme. When I first smelled this profile, I knew I had to have it, and I bought it before I knew what I was doing, <laughs> and I bought it at full retail at Ulta. For this 50 mil, I don't remember what I paid. I, just, I know I paid too much, and I should have got 100 mil online, you know, for a hell of a lot cheaper. But anyways, I have this, I have Blue Electric, I have the Eau de Parfum, um, but this right here, and I have a couple clones uh, of why or, or inspired by, but this is my favorite. Um, there's just something about, there's something extra in here that we're gonna talk about when we get into the notes. So there's other rumblings of another clone, older batches of La Nuit de Lhomme, it's called Ajmal 5. I looked it up, it was like starting at $60 for 100 mils. Other sites, it went all the way up to 140. So it's not something I'm gonna purchase right away. I might eventually, cause like I said, it's my favorite DNA. It's my favorite DNA of my collection and that's why this is my favorite, cause it has a bonus note in here. It would be really cool if it was in the original. So we'll get into that when we talk about the notes. But first we're gonna talk about the presentation. So as far as this presentation, it's got a pretty cheap plastic cap. It's got a kind of this uh, black presentation with this diamond plate uh, motif on the front and the back. On the bottom, it's got your uh, information. It's a Eau de Parfum, I think. No, Eau de Toilette, my bad. Eau de Toilette, 3.4 ounce. Um, cap stays on, but even empty, <laughs> it won't stay on. Actually, I use this cap for one of my other little decanter bottles that didn't have a cap. So the box, if anybody cares, here it is right here. So it's this black box, it looks pretty much like the bottle. You got your barcode on the bottom. You got the size and concentration, Ted Lapidus, Auto Toilette, 100 mils, yada yada. I had to put it in here because this bottle, uh, it. After, I don't know, I used it maybe 10 times, uh, the bottle started leaking. And I'm not in a high altitude. I mean, I'm in higher altitude. Uh, I'm in Southern Ohio, there's hills, but it's not like I'm in the Rockies or something like that. So it did leak whenever I'd spray it, you know, it'd spit out underneath the collar. And then every time I check on it, that juice level is just dropping and dropping. And I've shared this and I've used it a lot, but I haven't shared it or used it that much, okay? So I suspect that there was some evaporation going on. So if you guys have this fragrance, let me know in the comments. I'm curious, you know, have you had problems with the bottle leaking or evaporating? Because I'd like to know, you know, I have other bottles that I have my suspicions, but I can't really prove it. I could mark it, I guess, but you know, who cares? I just buy another bottle. It's cheap fragrance and uh, it's starting to become more and more available again. It was hard to find for a while, but we're going to open this up. So this was made, this was perfumed by Felipe Romano, which is, who's famous for First Instinct, First Instinct Extreme, and some Dunhill uh, Desire uh, Flankers, I believe, among other things. We'll get rid of this plastic. I mean, you guys know what Lon Weed Alone is. See the cap will stick, huh? So it kind of comes out of here in one of those inserts that doesn't want to give it up. Same box. There it is. All right. So let's check out this atomizer and see if it leaks. I might not know now. I might find out later. 
Ah, oh, there it is. All right, well, let's talk about the notes, shall we? The Poker Face was released from the house of Ted Lapidus in 2018. It opens with top notes of bergamot, lavender, mint, and violet leaf, with heart notes of cardamom, iris, and black pepper, and base notes of patchouli, cedar, and tonka bean. All right, you guys, so when you first spray this on, I'm going to spray this bottle here. It's just magnificent. So you get that bright uh, bergamot with that mint in the top, and then it quickly goes away and you get this heart. It's just glorious. It's just this really spicy cardamom with that iris note. And that's what makes this interesting because a month ago, I picked up an iris fragrance that I never smelled before. This guy. Prada La Homie. Okay, so the iris in here, that soapy, lavendery style of iris that's the kind of iris that you're going to get in here so if you take this and this you get this the only difference is you get some amped up performance and i don't know i don't remember it's been so long since i wore this one because i always wear this i don't remember but in the base of this you get this patchouli and you know how some patchouli kind of gives it this cocoa vibe you get a little bit of that here. It's not quite cocoa, but it's that darkness. It's sexy darkness underneath the iris and the spicy cardamom. It is just magnificent. I can't recommend this enough. So that opening where you're going to get all this violet leaf, that brightness is going to go away for after about 20 minutes. And then the, the heart of it where you get all the cardamom and the iris, that's going to last you for a good couple of hours. But it's going to rest close to the skin. It's not going to really push out. So it's going to last you about five hours in total um, before it becomes a skin scent. And you might get another hour out of it. But guys, I mean, do you really need more than that? I mean, if you use this for a first date, guys, you don't want to overpower your date. You don't want her to say, yeah, he's a nice guy, but he wears too much fragrance. You know, that's the last thing you want. You want her to think that you smell nice and you take care of yourself. That's the whole point. Give yourself a little bit of a mysterious edge too. And that's uh, what we want from our fragrance. We want to wear the fragrance and we don't want the fragrance to wear us. I think the strength is perfect. I, in fact, uh, it might be too much you know, for the situation that you use it for. If you're gonna use it as a daily driver, which I would, I mean, if I could only pick one fragrance out of this whole thing, it's this guy, uh, it's this guy. Um, and I would wear it as a daily driver. I would just control how much I wear. So you guys, this is a masculine fragrance, at least, it's not overly masculine. It's probably 7.5 on that scale. Um, you would want to wear this in the evenings, cooler nights, uh, I would say in the late fall, winter, early spring for dates. I wore this to work before and nobody seemed to mind too much. But this is an elegant mercurial fragrance. It's gonna give you that masculine, sexy, mysterious edge. It's got a darkness to it. I mean, you're gonna get some brightness in that opening, but it's gonna go away. And, and you get this spicy cardamom iris combo. It's just a die for, guys. I think this is fantastic. Uh, if you can get a sample, I don't know how you would. I would definitely try before you buy. You definitely have to like the Long de Lome uh, DNA. If you don't like it, then you won't like this. If you like iris, you might like this. You probably will. I mean, if you like this, you'll definitely like this, uh, in, in my opinion. Um, this is just a little bit brighter, a little bit cleaner. You can wear this to the club. You can wear this to a restaurant for dinner. Like I said, close encounters. Hell, if you want to stay home and just, you know, have some fun. And of course, I mean, playing cards and board games and watching Jeopardy, of course. It's a family show. So at the time of this recording, this is getting harder to find. I don't know if it's discontinued. If it is, they'll probably have to put me on meds from the depression that I will be suffering from if this ever is discontinued. Um, I have this bottle that I opened with you guys, and I have another backup bottle. But I got this for $30 uh, on News Parfums. It's over in France. Um, it's a great place to buy fragrances. You just got to have a little patience because you got to change the monetary unit from, I think, euros to dollars, and then you got to change the language from French to English. But once you get past that, it's just like you're navigating any other page. And they're a good discount. So $30 on that site, and hopefully it'll come back to other discounters. Uh, my first bottle, I, I bought it at fragrancebuy.ca, I believe, uh, about the same price. Maybe a little cheaper, but 
Um, so keep your eye out for it. It's a good fragrance, man. I ain't lying. Okay, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. It's my favorite fragrance, man. It's, um, now it's Kerfa, okay? It used to be Poker Face, but now it's Kerfa by Ted Lapidus. Well guys, that's my overly biased view of my favorite fragrance of all time, Ted Lapidus Poker Face Kerfa. Um, let me know down in the comments below uh, what you think of this fragrance. Have you tried it? Uh, what do you think of it? Do you hate it? If you don't like it, I'll let it slide. It might break my heart a little bit, but um, I love it and I'll continue to wear it. But I love all the support you guys give me, so leave me one of these and comment down below and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video, you guys. Have a great day.